So the wine cellar project is 99.9% .9 done here. Very happy with the way it came out. Looks great, I think. And um, it was a lot of work, especially adding all the LED ambient lighting, but well worth it in my opinion. So I'll just do a quick tour here. We've got uh, these wine racks are from Wine Racks America. Uh, redwood is the wood and cherry is the stain. I did go over this in previous videos. I use brass screws that I got online, square drive. Corner brackets, all brass. Um, so let's just go up to on the top here. Uh, these um, 13 inches is the height of these cabinets. So I think a wine bottle is typically 12. So it gives you about an inch room from the top of the wine bottle. So you got plenty of space up there to put a lot of wine. Uh, another, I think this is five column rack, uh, window trim, all kind of built into the rack. Corner boxes, um, cross hatch, I think you call those. I'm not sure what the name of these are. Uh, X cross hatch type um, design. There's boxes on the bottom here. Got the door stained. Uh, looks really nice. The door is from ETO doors. It's a really high quality door. It's pretty expensive, but really nice. Now I've got my ladder on top here. This is actually uh, brass that I bought at the hardware store and that I, I cut threads into. So this gives support to the rat, to the bottles uh, overhead. Um, this is a, this is actually Wine Racks America racking that I modified to, to build this overhead unit. So I just assemble the rack and then use that to, to build that. Got some pegs from the hardware store that I built for support um, in the middle there. But yeah, I really like the way these little brass rods look. Nice clean design, look really, look really nice. Well, those were a lot of work to do, but came out great. I got this LED strip, LED strip here, super bright LEDs, light here. Then I got another one in here that I built into the cabinet. So it shines the light sideways on this rack right here that I got from Amazon. Um, so once the bottles go in there, it really shows the label nicely. Um, originally I had put one trim piece here, but then I decided it was casting too much light on the back here. So then I put the second one in. So it kind of just focuses the light like in this in one direction. And then I got this under counter lighting here all the way along the bottom. Let's see, dim this up and down. So, like that, and these on dimmers. So that's nice. So when you pull a bottle out of here, you can kind of look at the label when you pull it out. You know, it'll, it'll be pretty dark in here. So that'll help with trying to see, you know, the bottles and the labels and all that kind of stuff like that. And uh, it's a wine guardian unit right there. So it's cooling right now. Uh, actually just, it's been running for a little bit, but just got to 55 degrees where it's gonna live pretty much all the time. I don't know what else. Oh, I added these corner ones too. This is kind of a last minute decision here. Uh, these came out nice too. Um, so we have these racks here in front of the glass and these will show the labels to the guests. Uh, in the dining room and then you know added these for some support some looks um, but I really like the way these came out it's really nice I uh, just got my dimmer controls there there's the unit some pendant lights I got off of Amazon oh some Edison bulbs I really I really like these Edison bulbs they look really cool. So you can kind of like just have them on like that, like really low, and you can they got like some swirly thing going on. It's really cool. <coughs> uh, vent. Uh, sorry, supply. And then what I've done here is, let me see if I can brighten it up really quick here. So you can 
see. I've made this kind of, uh, so basically the return is in this corner here and I don't want them blocked with wine bottles. So what I've done is built some individual pieces of wood here to like keep them from putting wine bottles in there so the machine can breathe so they don't block it with the bottles and you know the, the return gets uh, blocked. So that's what this is all about here. Uh, allows the machine, they can still put bottles in here but you know these slats will allow air movement still through uh, to the return so the machine can breathe. So that's what that's why that looks like that. Um, let's see what else. And we just have another one of those cross hatch pieces right there. Um, but yeah, looks great. Super happy with the results. And I'm excited uh, that they're gonna start putting wine in it pretty soon. And should work great and the customer should be really happy with it and yeah uh, thanks for watching